Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastashkina and in this week's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this wafer paper alstermere. I'll show you how to shape these petals and leaves and also I will teach you how to uh, dust your wafer paper. I think we never did this before. So this alstermere was made in white and then later in the video I will show you how to dust so you can make your alstermere in any color you want. I think it looks amazing, it looks relatively realistic and you can make as many as you want in no time. So let's begin. Okay, so first step what we need to do is we need to cut our petals for the flower and to make one flower I will need three outer petals and three inner petals. So to make my alstermere today I'm going to use a Saracino wafer paper. This one is 0.27 millimeters and it has two sides. One side is bumpy side and the other side is smooth side. For my flower today I'm going to use smooth side is my face side because I want to use uh, petal dust. So I think this texture will work better for my application. When you're cutting wafer paper, you can stack up to three layers of wafer paper and cut them together to save time. So I have my three inner petals and don't forget to save your wafer paper scraps. We will use them to make our wafer paper glue. And I will cut three outer petals and show you the next step. Now that I have all my petals, I have three outer petals, three inner petals, and I cut a few leaves according to my template, small size and large size. I need roughly about five to make my arrangement. I'm going to wire my petals, and today I'm going to use 28 gauge white floral wire. And I'm going to cut it in four pieces, each wire. And to wire my wafer paper, I will need a scrap piece of wafer paper, the same grade. And my magic glue. Magic glue is basically just melted wafer paper in water and you need to let it sit for a few hours, preferably overnight. So I will start with my larger petals. And because I want my smooth side to be my face side for this particular flower, I'm going to place my flowers, my petals, bumpy side up. This is going to be my back side and this is going to be the side where I'm attaching my wire. And I'm going to cut a few pieces of wafer paper. to sandwich my wire and attach it to my petal. And I'm going to take a small brush and apply a tiny amount of wafer paper glue on the back side. Attach my wire. Take my back piece smooth side up and place it on top to sandwich my wire like this. So now I have my wire in between two layers of fifi paper. This is bumpy side, so this is going to be my back side. And this is smooth side, this is going to be my front side. And I will attach my wire to the rest of my petals, same way. So, and do not worry about these pieces, you can take a pair of scissors if you want to clean it up. You can cut the rest to make your petal look like the one without any wire. So I will do the same and attach my wires to the rest of my petals and my leaves. And I will leave these petals for a few minutes to dry so we can condition and color them and assemble our flower. Now, when my petals are dry, I will start to condition and shape them. And to do that, I'm going to use my AC tonic. This is a non-alcohol wafer paper conditioner and you should have the recipe in your class materials. I don't need much, maybe less than a teaspoon. And I will take just a tiny amount of this dusty pink gel color. 
and mixed with my conditioner. So you can see I barely have any color on my brush. And I need this conditioner to soften my wafer paper that I will be able to shape it. And I'm going to apply my wafer paper conditioner to both sides of my petal. And placing this shiny side down on my floral pad because we'll start shaping from the bumpy side. And again, if your wafer paper starts melting or you apply it a little bit too much of your conditioner, take a fluffy brush with a little bit of cornstarch and lightly apply to the back side of your flower. And as you can see, because my petals are stuck to my flower mat, they are not curling, they are not melting, they are staying like this, absorbing the moisture from the conditioner. And while waiting for my larger petals to dry a little bit, I will add maybe a touch more of this gel color to my conditioner and I will color my smaller petals. Same way, lightly painting on both sides and placing on my floral mat. And drying time is depends on your humidity and your temperature. Sometimes when it's hot outside or here in my studio, it takes just like 10 seconds or so. Today is a little bit colder, so I'm being much more gentle and careful with my petals. But now I have this one. I will take a little bit more of my cornstarch, apply it to both sides, and I will start shaping this one. So first I will put it bumpy side up. This is going to be my back side. Take my ball tool. This is medium sized ball tool and gently press to curve this on the outside. Turn this smooth side up. This is going to be my face side. Take my Dresden tool and gently press in the middle. Because uh, Elstermere petals grow outwards a little bit. I'm going to bend my wire, take my flower former and place it in my flower former to dry while I'm working on the other petals, like this. And for my inner petals I will do the same. Take a little bit more of my cornstarch, lightly brush so it is not sticky anymore apply just a touch of ball tool to shape it on the bumpy side turns to my front side my smooth side and press down gently bend my wire and place it in the former to dry and to color and condition my leaves i'm going to use the same mixture my ac tonic but instead of using pink gel i'm going to use this uh, this is AmeriColor Airbrush Forest Green, I believe. My favorite color, I use it for all of my foliage and greenery. I'm making sure that I do not have an excessive amount on my brush, just a little bit. And I'm going to lightly paint on both sides of my leaves. And as you can see, I usually start on the back side. So for this flower, I'm using bumpy side of wafer paper as my back side and smooth side as my front side. If your wafer paper melts before you can apply your second layer, what you can do is just apply your color on one side, like this, without applying on the front side. Leave it to dry for a second. Apply maybe a little bit of cornstarch and color the other side. Place it to dry. And again, if I want to add any texture and shape my leaves, what I would do 
is I would take my Dresden tool, making sure that my leaves are dry enough to be shaping. And I would probably just lightly draw a few lines to shape it. But probably no more than that. And I will leave it to dry flat. Maybe if you want to add a little bit more movement to your leaves, you can use any leaf former or shaper to leave it to dry. Same as you would do for your sugar leaves or sugar flowers. And again, it depends on your humidity and on your temperature in the place where you're working at. But usually wifi paper takes from 2 to 20 minutes to dry. Uh, here today is about 50% humidity, so I know it will take maybe 10 to 12 minutes to dry until I can assemble my flower. And to make my Alstom area center, I'm going to use pre-made statements. I probably need about uh, seven, eight, something like this. Depends on the size. These are basic Wilton ones. You can buy at any craft store, I believe. And I'm going to use a piece of 22 gauge wire. Because my flower is relatively light, 22 gauge is enough to make uh, is enough to make my stem. So I have two seven stamens, and I need just this long part. So I'm going to cut this part to make them one-sided. And I'll take a piece of floral tape, stretch it to activate the glue. This is half with green floral tape, and I will start on my wire attach this floral tape to itself and pull it up. Just create a layer of stickiness for my stamens to stick to. And I'm going to arrange the stamens around my wire. Make sure that you stretch your floral tape to make it sticky. And I'm going to bring it down to secure my stamens on the wire, like this. So this is going to be my Alstromeria center. And I need to color this white part. And to dust my petals, I'm going to use uh, petal dust, probably this Aurora Rose and Daffodil, and maybe a little bit of Fern or Foliage Green. These are by The Sugar Art, so these are totally edible. And I will take this pink dust and color my stamens. Usually to apply petal dust I prefer to use makeup brushes because they are much denser and they are made to work with dry color. And to shape my stamens and my center, I'm going to take my tweezers and just give them some movement. Now my flower center is ready. And I'm going to put it aside and bring my petals. First, I will start with my smaller petal, my inner petal. And, and I'm going to take this daffodil yellow color and dust small amount somewhere in the middle. And then I will take this pink color so this is going to be a color combination for my inner petals. And for my outer petals, for my larger ones, I'm going to take the same yellow, apply just in the middle like this, and this pink one down maybe fourth of the petal. And also for this larger petals, I'm going to take a little bit of this fern green color and paint 
on the top. Just a few strokes to make it look even more realistic. And to make my petals even more realistic, I'm going to take this airbrush maroon color and a tiny brush. And I'm going to paint just a few dots on my stamens first. And tiny strokes on my inner petals. Starting with the top. Outlining my pattern. And painting a few light lines in the middle. To do this, if you don't want to use a tiny brush and airbrush color, you can use just regular gel color, for example, brown or burgundy, depends on the color of your flower. Or you can also use a brown or even black edible marker. You can add a few dots here and there. And you can use the same color to add darker spots on your leaves as well. Now I have all my petals ready. My three inner petal, my center and my three outer petal. I'm going to take half with green floral tape and start to assemble. First, I'm going to stick this floral tape to my center. I will take two of my petals, maybe this two, to be my top petals. And this one is going to be my front petal because it's a little bit more curly than this two. So I'm going to attach them to my center like this. And because I have my wire in this petal, I can shape them even after they already dry. And I'll take my third petal and I'm going to arrange my four, three my three larger petals in between. And my third one goes here. Now I'm going to make sure that I like the position of my petals. And I'm going to fix all my wires together and bring my floral tape down the stem. That's how we made this with a paper alstroemeri and you can look up online and make your alstroemeri in any color. The great thing about this technique that you can make your petals in white or just like basic pink as we did today and then add your dust color depends on your floral arrangement and any color you want to add. Today I used this Aurora Rose Pink and Daffodil by the Sugar are, but you can definitely use any color and you can make them as bright or as uh, delicate as you want. I will make a few more, add my leaves that's almost dry and I will assemble them in an arrangement and post a picture. Thank you so much for joining me for another tutorial. My name is Anastashkina and I will see you next week, same time, same place. Bye-bye.